Do you frequently encounter a situation in which you are simply trying to load a game or any other application and get the user account control window requesting you to enter an admin password? And only after entering the password, the game starts working. Let me show you how to overcome this obstacle. There is a command that is very useful in this situation. If you run it like this, it will show you all the available command line arguments. So the plan is to use the command and enter the password only once. Windows will remember it for all future activations. Right click the shortcut and click properties. Add the command here right before the existing text. Replace the user admin with any administrative user on your computer. Then click OK to save the shortcut with the changes you just made. When you run this for the first time, you will see this screen. Enter the admin password and press enter. Then click yes in the user account control window and your game is on. The next time you run this game, you only need to click yes in the user account control window without entering the admin password. Please subscribe. Now that we have this out of the way, let me show you two ways to remove the password if you no longer want it to be remembered. In a CMD window, write the following command. Please note that this command is case sensitive. From the list of credentials, click the relevant one, click remove, click to approve the removal and click close to close this window. The next time you try to run the same game, a password will again be required. The second method to do this is to click Start and enter the settings. In the search box, find Control Panel and open it. I always convert the view to small icons to openly see all the options. Click the Credential Manager and then Windows Credentials. From the list here, click the requested credential to expand the view. Click here to remove it and click Yes to approve the removal. It actually provides you with the same outcome. The game will no longer run without entering the password. So what do you think? Will you actually use this method? Let me know in the comments below and remember to watch this video next.